The heat from the wood chips heats every process line in here except Funyuns and Cheetos. So all the other lines, all the process heat comes from the wood chips as well as just the heat in the winter, the building heat also comes off that steam. But it's pretty close to 65 to 70 percent efficient. For comparison basis, a gas boiler is about 80 percent efficient. Um, but we've had pretty good luck with it and it's, uh, it's converting as efficiently as we planned on it doing. We use about 520 tons a week, um, so 25,000 tons a year, plus or minus. About 40% of our wood comes from the Topeka Yard Waste Facility. We have a contract with somebody to provide our wood, so the rest of it comes from far away as Olathe or Wichita, City of Lawrence, City of Emporia, City of Manhattan, Fort Riley, a couple of the tornado debris sites with, with Redding and uh, Harveyville. It's all urban wood waste, so if it's a new tree, it's because some developers putting in, you know, is taking trees out to put in a shopping mall or something, or maybe a uh, farmer clearing a field out. So yeah, it's all secondary. What we do get from Wichita is actually recycled pallets, so there's a lot of money to be made in rebuilding pallets if somebody breaks one. The ones that can't be rebuilt, they grind up. So we do on occasion burn 25 or 30 percent of ground up pallets. So this is the first for Frito-Lay. We do have a, a second site that started up about 10 months after us down in Casa Grande, Arizona. The, the Kansas Forest Service was a part of the original um, due diligence that we had to do at the plant to make sure there was enough fuels um, out to supply our boiler, boiler more than a year or two. So. I actually worked with Larry Biles. Several years ago, we started working with Frito-Lay in South Topeka, Kansas, to look at converting some of their energy systems from natural gas to wood. The role the Kansas Forest Service played in that particular conversation or discussion was to help validate a sustainable supply of wood resources in Kansas. We looked at waste wood coming from sawmills, from cabinet manufacturing companies, from municipal tree waste, utility tree waste, and determined there was a very good supply of sustainable material in the Topeka area. They provided a copy of some of the ag waste solid fuel streams analysis that was done for the state of Kansas. So we use that as some of our base material when we were looking at are we going to use wood waste. We also looked at corn stover. We looked at oat and rice holes. We looked at switchgrass. Um, looked at the availability and the distance to truck, all that stuff, and ultimately came back to wood waste. And then locally, we worked with the uh, Topeka Forester, Adam Moser, was a big part of us sorting out the capabilities of the local yard and could they meet our needs. We are a lead gold site for existing buildings. That's in recognition of the reduction and reuse efforts that we've accomplished over, at this site over the last several years. We are the second existing manufacturing building in the United States to get that because the other plant that got that before us was our plant in Arizona. So we're a big facility. We're, we're the third largest Frito-Lay facility. Um, less than one quarter of one percent of the solid waste that goes out of this facility goes to a landfill. We recycle our cord cardboard. We reuse products off of our potato chips and our corn that goes to cattle feed and chicken feed. Even the ash off this boiler that you're going to see when we go out there, the fly ash, goes to a cattle feedlot down in Allen County at Wildcat Feeds. They use it in a uh, beneficial reuse for land treatment. And then the bottom ash, which is what's left over after your campfire, that goes to Lafarge, North America, to their cement plant, plant in Kansas City and is used as an ingredient in their cement. So even the ash off of this boiler does not go to the landfill. One of the things we learned from a wood waste survey is we have about 280,000 tons of wood that's being handled annually as waste and it was our intent to intercept some of that and make a utilitarian product. Frito-Lay is a classic example of how we have taken a waste stream and converted it to utilitarian value.